We're going to have a beautiful time. I have decided after, just bear with me as I'm letting people in. I've decided after this morning's call that I think the way to start tonight is going to be with just a beautiful energy activation to get us all just relaxed and feeling amazing and connected into our truth to what is really possible for us. Somebody give me a yes in the chat if you can hear me okay, if everything's working for you. Beautiful. I love your name, Thera. I, that's just beautiful. I love the spelling. It has a beautiful energy to it. Absolutely wonderful. Very unique. <laughs> that says I can hear beautiful beautiful all right so we're just going to give it a few minutes then because when I start the activation my eyes will be closed and um, I won't be able to let people so we're going to give it a few more minutes before we get started so if anybody wants to tell me where they're from I would love to know I personally am just outside of Chicago you know, um, because of my book, One Truth, One Law, people often expect me to be in Virginia Beach still. But Virginia Beach was just a brief uh, stop on my journey. So now I'm in Indiana outside of Chicago. Oh, Nashville, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I hope you weren't near the flooding in Tennessee. I don't know how close that was to Nashville. Welcome everybody who's just popping in now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah, oh, feel all of you beautiful souls. It's absolutely wonderful. Aspen, Colorado. Oh, fantastic. Do you ski, John? Oh, okay, Waverly, Tennessee. Well, I'm glad you weren't there. And yeah, I'm sending a lot of love and energy to everyone who's affected by it oh well that works out perfectly for you john <laughs> that's beautiful absolutely wonderful thank you thank you guys for being here um if anyone was on this morning's call tonight's call is going to be a lot different it's just going to be very low key, very relaxed. There were some new things that came through for me to share that are really, really beautiful, but I do want to start with the energy activation. And also, if you are on um, this morning's call, I don't think we're going to have an issue with um, the sound tonight. We should be just fine. And um, if anybody at any time has any questions for me, just go ahead and pop them in the chat and I will get to them. I honestly love answering questions and interacting. It is one of the things about my calling that really lights me up. It really, really does. <laughs> Which is funny because I used to, which I can remember being a kid in school and being terrified that I would be called on and have to answer a question. And um, I find that's how it is with our calling. It usually ends up being the things that scared us the most end up being, when we get through that darkness and come out on the other side healed, they end up being the things that we are actually here to bring to the world more just really all about this beautiful symphony of the universe that we are participating in. All right, we're gonna give it two more minutes, I think. Hello, beautiful soul. So excited to see you. So we will give it two more minutes. I also wanna check on Instagram and make sure nobody wants the link. Yeah. My son is here on my lap, just relaxing. Yeah. 
Yes, yes. So one more minute, guys, and we'll get started. Okay, I'm going to put it on airplane mode. Oh, oh good, I got a big, long, juicy question. Yeah, it's a beautiful question. Um, the more that we do the inner work on ourselves, and the more that we think we have already been through that darkness and healed everything, when we are actually on our path, and we're on our soul's journey, right, and we're digging in and we're saying, yes, I'm ready, yes, I'm ready, there will come a point when we are called to expand further than we knew was possible. And when, and that's sort of what we're going to talk about after the, after the activation, is the choice point that each of us as a human is really in right now. And we'll get to that later, but this is more an individual choice point. Am I going to continue on my journey, even though all of this stuff is coming up for me? And it's overwhelming and I don't know how to handle it. Do I move forward? I think I'm supposed to move forward. But I'm, I'm coming up against all these things I thought I healed. That's super, super normal. Happened to me so many times. Um, the first time it happened to me was uh, 10 years ago when I am told me to publish my book. And it took me eight years to work through that. You know? And then, <laughs> so then every time after that, it took less time for me to work through it. And now, and that's because the first few times, you don't fully know that the universe is going to have your back is going to have is going to support you because you've never really followed that inner guidance before. But as you continue on your path and you are continually asked to expand you'll get to the point where you say oh well I recognize this all this stuff is coming up because i'm going higher i'm expanding more okay. i'm just going to do the thing i'm going to allow myself to witness this stuff that is coming up i'm going to send love and forgiveness to it and i'm still going to do the thing that scares me and so the more you do these things that scare you that are bringing this stuff up for you um the easier it gets every time to where like for me it's not even a question anymore things might scare me but I, I just know I'm going to take the action because I know how supported I am. But that is, it's a journey. It's a journey. This is for my highest good to show me what I need to know to pursue the path project. And of course, yeah. Well, you're so right. Everything that comes up for us is just mirroring our internal condition. Okay, Leo. So it's just mirroring our internal condition. And it's showing us how to heal and how to move forward if we use our eyes to see it that way. I know for me, a great example of this is when I first published One Truth, One Law, I got a lot of um, emails from people saying, how dare you charge, you know, $18 for this? How dare you not give it away for free? I remember the first time I received one of those emails, I was devastated and I said, oh my gosh, am I am I wrong? Should I give it away for free? You know, and it was, it was such a devastating thing. And I remember it took me weeks of working through it, right? But I finally was told this is an opportunity to heal things from your past that are making you think your what you bring to the world isn't worthy of compensation. Now I occasionally get an email Why? like that. But each time I received one, I healed a little bit more and to where, you know, the first time it took weeks for me to work through it. The next time it was a few days. The next time it was a few hours. And now, you know, it's a minute or two and sometimes it's not that. So the more we're willing to, yes, recognize these things that come up that feel icky as, um, as opportunities 
to learn and to grow, the more that's exactly what they become. Because everything really is always happening for us, 110%. Okay, beautiful. So what we will go ahead and do now is go into an activation. And so just to explain to you guys what an activation is, for those of you who don't know, switch my view here. For those of you, no, I'm not gonna, for those of you who don't know, um, I'm sure you're all familiar with a guided meditation, which is very similar to how an activation sounds. A guided meditation or a hypnosis um, audio, they're working on your mind. You have to be conscious and present in order for it to work. Um, and an activation is working on your energy body. And for a lot of people, they actually fall, to, fall asleep the first time listening to one because their mind is getting out of the way so their energy body can begin to integrate the changes and the upgrades. That doesn't mean you fall asleep every time, but that is common. Um, and within your personal energy field that surrounds you and it permeates through every cell of your being, every bit of you, and connects you up to all that is, um, lies the potential of, uh, lies infinite potential of all that is. But it's much like your DNA, you have certain things switched on and a lot of the things you would like to have switched off. So an energy activation just uses the tools that I have or that someone else who does these has to turn up more of the things that you would want and turn down the things that are holding you back. So it's really a beautiful process and it's not just a woo-woo thing for people who are interested in this woo-woo spiritual stuff. It's for all of us. It's well, because humans are energy beings, whether we want to accept that or not, it is true. And it's the reason why you can do all the personal development you want uh, on your mind. You can do tons of it. You can dedicate years to it. But if you're just elevating your mind, your energy body is being dragged like a ball and chain on the ground behind you, holding your mind down from going higher, which is why you see a burnout with people that do personal development, because they're not also attending to their energy body. And our physical body is just as important, too. I experienced that a few months ago. I had um, weight from my pregnancy that my son's two now <laughs> that uh, was not coming off. And it was really frustrating for me because my mind and my energy were up here and I felt like my physical body was down here. And I, I kept oh. trying to bring my energy higher to sort of compensate. And finally, what I was told was, and it was this beautiful understanding, is that the energy can't do it all. You have to understand you're here as a human and you have these three parts. And if you want one to go really, really high, you bring the others too. Then nothing's dragging, nothing's holding you back and you're integrating fully. And um, that's been really powerful for me. So I hope that helps you. So with the energy activation we're about to go into. Um, I did never know what I'm going to do in advance. I connect in with beings of the highest vibration. I'm standing in my sovereignty, in my God self when I do this activation. I'm not doing it from the perspective of Aaron, which is um, very different from um, most energy um, work that is taught today. Um, and that is something that is very much sort of a holdover from 100 years ago, how um, Reiki was originally brought over, is that we are vessels for the divine, but not necessarily um, divine ourselves. 
And so when we're doing energy work from that limited human perspective, we're really limiting um, our power coming through, which is why I always step into my sovereignty. And after the activation, when I um, bring forward the message I have about the choice point we're all at as individuals and as part of the collective right now. Those are crystals, sweetie pie. And as part of the collective right now. Um, <laughs> see you later, baby. I love you. Um, we will talk about that some more. So that's going to be absolutely beautiful. And now I'm just going to sort of close my door so we're not hearing the cartoons. Okay. Oh, so I'm sorry. So what I was going to say is I never know what I'm going to bring forward. I have no plan for this energy activation as I step into my sovereignty the right words will drop down and I will make sounds often it will sound sort of like a clicking sound or sort of like um, to me it seems like a one and zero like computer source code um, which I have been told is is the voice of God and um, some of you might be familiar with light language or angel language it's sort of along those lines and so that will come out and I'll probably mention things that don't make sense if you are in um, quantum light work academy or considering joining it we will talk about all of that and so much more inside of there. Um, but right now we will dive right in. So everyone close your eyes just sink into your chair. Take a deep breath in, filling your lungs with air. Hold it there for a moment and slowly release. And as you release, just allow yourself to let go of any worries, any fears, anything you've been holding on today. Just allowing that to drop away. And as you take in another deep breath, just filling yourself with a warmth, with a light. That's right, absolutely beautiful. And as you breathe out, just sinking deeper into your chair, just relaxing and allowing a warmth to begin at your toes. And that warmth travels up your feet, your ankles, your calves, relaxing your legs. The warmth is traveling up your knees, onto your thighs, and your legs are getting loose and really comfortable. Now that beautiful warm feeling is traveling up your torso. That's right up your abdomen, through your back, up into your chest, your shoulders. And you're just getting so loose as the warmth travels through your arms, down your hands, into your fingers. You might feel a little bit of tingling or you might not. And Anything you feel is absolutely perfect. Now that warmth is traveling up your neck, into your chin, up through your cheeks, just relaxing you. Bringing you such a sense of peace, of calm, of being exactly where you are supposed to be. And now that beautiful warmth travels up your forehead and down through the back of your head, coming back down now through your body. And you are fully relaxed. 
And now there is a beautiful ball of white light in your heart that is spinning faster and faster and faster. And that's right. Spinning faster and faster and faster. And as this ball spins, the light spreads out to every cell in your body. And every cell in your body begins vibrating higher, spinning faster. And now the light extends out past your physical body, moves through your energy body and surrounds you. There's a beautiful triple layer sphere of impenetrable protection surrounding you. And only that which is for your highest and greatest good can come into your sphere. Anything not for your highest and greatest good, bounces off your sphere and is sent back to universal mind where it dissipates harmless returning to life. You are fully protected and fully supported by all that is. You are a beautiful being of light. Calling into the field now, your light team, your spirit guides, angels of the highest vibration, Arcturians of the highest vibration, ascended masters of the highest vibration. And anyone else of the highest vibration uniquely assigned to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Commanding for my knowing that I am God that all the upgrades and changes made within this beautiful sacred space is embodied at the rate which you can comfortably embody it and continues 24 hours a day, seven days a week until you have fully embodied it. That's right. Absolutely beautiful. Commanding from my knowing that I am God, that all these changes and upgrades ripple out throughout all nows, all dimensions, all space and all time. Touching you at every point along your physical journey. Clearing your light shaft now just allowing the colors to flow through from your head to your toes. Red is flowing through, cleansing you, clearing you, recharging you. Now orange is flowing through, cleansing you, clearing you, recharging you. Yellow flowing through, cleansing you, clearing you, recharging you. Green flowing through, Cleansing you, clearing you, recharging you. Blue flowing through, cleansing you, clearing you, recharging you. Purple flowing through, cleansing you, clearing you, recharging you. White flowing through, cleansing you, clearing you, recharging you. Silver flowing through, cleansing you, clearing you, recharging you, settling you into each and every cell in your body, permeating your entire energy field, bringing you up, spinning you faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And now gold floods and gold pours in through the crown of your head, rushing down through your light shaft, all the way down through your toes, going all the way down, down through your feet, 
down through your floor, down, down, down into the core of the earth, wrapping around the core of the earth, shooting right back up through you, moving up through the crown of your head, up into your soul star, connecting you in, wrapping around your unique soul star, Calling in guidance from your soul star, just allowing information that will help you in the coming days, weeks, and months with the choice points that are being presented to you. Allowing that information to begin flooding in now. Just allowing it to begin flooding in. And whether now or over the coming hours or days is the right time to receive it. Just allowing it to begin settling into your field and begin integrating and becoming a part of you. <whistles> Calling in now the triple layer spheres to come in and clear you. Clearing anything that's currently present within your energy field, your body or your mind, not for your highest and greatest good. Clearing out any entities that might be hitchhiking on you. Just allowing it to begin dropping away from the field at the rate which you can comfortably embody, commanding this from my knowing that I am God and that you are God as well. Resetting you, returning you to your wholeness now and allowing this to be embodied at the rate which is comfortable to embody. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Calling up now any chords um, to anything not for your um, highest and greatest um, good. Um, any attachments. Um, Allowing those cords to begin dropping away from your field. Just allowing those cords to begin dropping away from your field. Returning to universal mind where they dissipate harmless and allowing the roots of those cords to be filled in with light, with the rainbow ray, with white, with gold and silver. Returning those roots to your wholeness. And now focusing in on your mind and commanding that any limiting beliefs that have been standing in your way, any programming, any conditioning, not for your highest and greatest good, begins to drop away from your field and be replaced with knowing of your truth and your sovereignty. You are a sovereign being of light. You are God. You are source. This is your truth. And you are being asked to step into this knowing more fully. It is time. It is time. It is time. And this does not mean that you need to be perfect all day, every day. This means it is time to step into your sovereignty. It is time to speak your truth and to go within for guidance and know that you will be supported infinitely on this journey when you do these things. When you do this, when you live this, you become a beacon of light. And you are thanked for spending the time tonight to do this activation. Sending so much love to all the beings of the highest vibration who have assisted us. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We open our hearts to you. We thank you for the guidance you have given us in our past, in our now, and in our future. Thank you. 
And now I'd like you to take a moment and imagine someone that you love. And just imagine a beautiful light spreading through them. And know that because you are God, you are source. This is what you are here to do. Spread light. Allow a light just to drop into them, drop through them. And know that this is more powerful than words will ever be. This is your power. This is your magic. This is your truth. And take a moment, wiggle your toes, <gasps> wiggle your fingers, just allow yourself to come back. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you all for that. And thank you for holding light with me. When we do this, we are so powerful. Just taking time to imagine a light going through you. You are the collective. You are all that is. And so when you send light to yourself, you send it to everyone. You send it to all that is, and you raise the vibration of all that is. You are so powerful. And I really, 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 I'm grateful to be able to tell you how powerful that I know you are. Thank you for being here with me. So I do wanna talk for a few minutes about this choice point that I've been getting a lot of guidance around. Um, it is essentially the time in our journey, our collective journey, um, especially that we've been on our whole lives, but especially this last year and a half where um, things have really been amping up as the vibration of the planet rises and as that kicks up a lot of gunk that's been buried under the surface for centuries for thousands of years actually um, and that's happening as part of the clearing just as when we clear as an individual and begin to expand to hold more light all that gunk is kicked up within us and we say i didn't even know this was there to heal or to deal with or to get rid of and now i see it well that's exactly what's happening on a planetary level right now so we've had the last year and a half to sort of get accustomed to craziness and this choice point is really all about our soul missions and we are all here to do something and to, you know, how we were raised, how we were programmed, how we were conditioned our whole lives is that we didn't have enough within us to embark on our soul missions, right? Um, to even believe that it was possible 
to have an actual purpose for being here. And as we grew up and went on our own spiritual journey and began to believe more might be possible and that we might have a role to play in the universe, um, you know, some of us may have embarked on things. Some of us may have started things that didn't pan out. But with the vibration raising, there's so much more support than there ever was. There's so much light. Yeah. There's so much light flooding in right now to support us. And this choice point is all about holding light. And for some of us, that will be what we're here to do. And for others of us, we will be called to embark on a specific soul mission. Now, there is no way um, one better than the other, right? They're equally important. So if you feel very content just with holding light within you every day and sending some of that out to the planet, that is beautiful. And this is the time to do it. This is the time like none other when that light is needed to, um, to continue our process of, of going higher. And then others of us are called to embark on a specific soul mission or we feel that call within us that we are supposed to do something more, even if we can't quite lay our hand on what exactly it is. We feel a call to do more. And this is the time. It's the time to act. It's the time to know that we are going to be supported. And that's really this beautiful choice point. And I'll give you an example of how this came through for me, because I'm obviously already in the midst of my soul mission. But my husband, Bill, has been experiencing a lot of what am I supposed to do? I feel like I can't make a difference, right? The world's falling apart. I don't, I don't have an interesting soul mission like you. I guess I can't do anything. Um, so what's the point, right? And so um, I did, a, did an energy session on him and um, it was really, really interesting because it turned out that he had sort of, he last year started writing a novel that was just flowing out of him. It was flowing, it was flowing, it was flowing. He was so lit up. I remember him just like bouncing around the house, being so excited because he was doing something to lit him up. And then he found a course by a famous author that was a few hundred dollars. And he, um, he said, oh, I'm not, I'm not spending the money on that. I don't want, that's silly, I'm not gonna spend the money on that. And, um, and soon after that, he sort of just lost it, right? And he has spent the last year feeling like, well, I guess that wasn't my thing. I just stopped writing and, and whatever. And the information that came down uh, during this session I did recently was that he had missed something, right? That we're given these breadcrumbs, this inner guidance to follow along the way. But a lot of the time, those blocks stop us from following it. And we say, well, I can't do that because of this. And then we have to go on an uncomfortable journey for a length of time to find our way back to that path that we had been on, whether briefly or for a long time. And so the guidance that came down was he was at a choice point. It was right now he went back. He either had the choice to stop watching the news because he was watching a lot of news and he was really contributing, although he doesn't believe what the news is saying. And he's not watching like, um, mainstream media, he's watching um, alternative media on YouTube or on BitChute or wherever else. But it's all fear programming. Even if it's no matter what side it's coming from, it's contributing to holding this vibration of fear. 
And so, and I think a lot of us can probably relate to that. You know, it can be very addictive to pay attention, pay a lot of attention. I would say for him, it was two or three hours every day paying attention to that. And the guidance was, that's okay that you spent a year doing that, but this is the choice point. And it's not just for him, it's for each and every one of us to turn away from that fear by fear vibration that is so easy to access through the social media we have through all of these different platforms for people to share all the reasons they're afraid right and all the things that could go bad so that's the choice point to either stay there in that fear or move into figuring out what you're here to share with the world, whether that's simply holding light within you or whether it's yeah, you have a specific soul mission that is you're being called to bring to the world in a bigger way. And my guidance was that this is no longer a time when it's we're just laid back and learning with a vibration um, raising it is time to um, it's coming to me shit or get off the pot that's this is it. Um, so this is not to scare anyone. It is simply what needs to be shared. Because I know in the past I would have shied away from sharing this truth because. I want to be liked. I don't want to um, ruffle any feathers. And that has been something I had to heal within me. And I have done quite a bit of work around that to be able to stand in my power, speak the truth that is coming from my inner guidance. And we all deserve that sort of life. We all do, each and every one of you deserve a life where you can speak freely and know that the people that come to you to hear are the right people, are the people who are ready for your message. I could go on and on about how um, it can be difficult when you're first getting started because you want to share all the exciting things you're learning with the people you love and the people you love say, wow, I don't want any of that. <laughs> That's too weird for me. But what I'm talking about is, is much different. I'm talking about when you're standing in your power and you're speaking your truth, the right people will be magnetized to you. And the people that you love that don't get it, they won't mind either. So it's all about the energy. It's all about you can take the same action, but depending on your energy, if you're coming from a fear based energy or a light based energy, get a completely different reaction. Absolutely. That's how powerful energy is. That is it. Energy is everything. Before I discovered energy, which was, gosh, it was early last year. Everything was a struggle every day. It just was. That doesn't mean I couldn't manifest things. I could, but it was a lot of work, it felt like. And discovering energy has, has just changed everything. So I thank each and every one of you for spending a little bit of time with me this evening. Um, if nobody has any questions, I will say good night. And if anyone here is considering Quantum Lightwork Academy, you can always send me an email. Um, and tonight at midnight central time, the price is going to go at $500 or $50 a month um, for the payment plan. So this is a beautiful time to do it. And um, I think one of my favorite things to do now is to teach energy work. It's interesting because I thought after I created Lightworkers that I wanted to automate 
my business completely um, so that I could spend all my time with my kids and just bring people into Lightworkers. And I had a few months there where I, I thought that was a good idea. It wasn't coming from my inner voice. It was coming from I saw other people doing that with their businesses, and that seemed like a pretty good idea. They were spending a lot of time with their kids. And I love my kids. And um, I found, though, after a few months of not having interaction with people, that interacting and teaching energy, that is the thing that lights me up really more than anything else in the world. So I'm so grateful for, I know I see a few of you in here have already signed up to join me in, in um, Quantum Lightwork Academy. And I know one of you has been in Lightworkers with me. And so I'm so grateful for you guys and everyone else on the call. I'm so grateful for you bringing your energy here. Absolutely beautiful. I just thank you so much. I love each and every one of you. Okay, there are a few questions, so I will hop over here. Okay, what's the best way for us to get started in energy awareness work? That's a good question. So I, what I would recommend, there's so many different ways to get started. I would recommend going within and asking to be led to the next step for you say okay i'm ready for more lead me there now, that might not be a voice that answers you right it might be an email you receive in a week it might be um, something that pops up in your feed in social media you know it could be somebody you run into at the store it's just after you ask for it just be open to receiving it right because there are a million different paths to coming to energy work. And, um, you know, I had three specific energy teachers. The first one I was with for a few months until I am said, okay, you've learned everything you can learn from her. Now you have to move on. And, um, and then I had uh, the other two I was with for about two weeks each. And it's just, I, with I am, I was able to move beyond them so quickly and um, integrate so much, so much more that was being given to me. Um, and I would say the number one thing when you find a teacher is it's so, so important to find someone who is, their main goal is to free you, to raise you up. And I will give you an example of this. Um, I had a, a beautiful, um, a beautiful guide. She wasn't an energy teacher, but it was right when I first started my business and I did not have much confidence in myself. I said, I want someone to help me um, get started. So I had taken the first step. I had published my book. Nobody was buying it. No one had ever heard of me. I wasn't fully confident yet. I wasn't quite ready. And so I hired her and she was beautiful and wonderful and of course full of light. But at, at some point, about a month and a half, two months after I worked with her, um, I was told by I am, okay, now, now it's time to step away. And I said, oh, I can't do that. What is, she's my friend. I love her. She's wonderful. And I am insisted. It took me about two weeks to work up the courage to tell her. And when I told her she was destroyed, she was absolutely destroyed. She felt like she took it as a personal affront as if she had done something wrong. And I tried to explain to her, no, this is happening because you did everything right. You freed me. You freed me. You brought me higher. And now I don't need you anymore. You accomplished what you set out to do in five months, in a month and a half or two months. This is beautiful. Thank you. And it, she couldn't understand it. And I, it was just, it was very, very sad. And then the next, um, the, the first energy teacher that I had, uh, it didn't take me two weeks. Like I mentioned earlier, when you start following this guidance, this breadcrumbs, the first time's the hardest. Each time after that, it becomes easier. So when I am told me it was time to leave my first energy teacher now, um, 
it was, I was like, oh, this is a bummer because I love her and I love learning from her. Do I really have to? And I am said, yes, you have to. And so I told her and she cried tears of joy because she knew that meant that she had done her job so fully that I didn't need her anymore. And that's what you're looking for. And I have the, I mean, I'm gonna start crying right now because I have a beautiful, student Sarah who was in unlimited you with me and then she was in lightworkers 101 and she had emailed me last week and she always asked for guidance specifically before she entered either of those courses she emailed me last week and said oh quantum lightwork academy looks amazing i want to sign up she said i'm going to ask for guidance first and i said yes ask for guidance absolutely i want everybody to ask for guidance <laughs> i love your guidance um so she asked for guidance and the message she received is it was time for her to go out on her own that I had taken her as far as it was my job to take her and that she was ready to be on her own. So I was just crying. I made her this video celebrating her and I was like bawling. I was so I'm going to start crying right now. I was so excited because I had done exactly what I set out to do. I had freed her to know that her inner voice had all the answers and she trusted that enough to follow it. So that that is what you are looking for in a teacher. And I'm not the only one, right? The first woman who taught me energy was the same way. We exist, but that's what you want. Someone whose goal is to free you because that's what you deserve. You don't deserve someone who is going to, I kind of say it's like the chiropractor, right? Who, who adjusts you a little tweak every week for 30 years so that you keep coming back because there are chiropractors that can adjust you in one or two sessions and you're good to go for 10 years, you know, and you can come back 10 years later or most of them are a little tweak every week. And that's how a lot of energy practitioners are. And I don't like that. I, I think that you deserve to go on your soul mission. You deserve it. That's what you're here to do. And that's what my job is. That's what any energy guides job should be, is to bring you home to your truth so you don't ever need me or anyone else again. And so that's, that's that that is what you are looking for that is the number one thing because all the gifts are inside of you it's just about unlocking them um okay so there was another question here jasmine says can you explain the difference between i am source and your soul yes absolutely jasmine i know that you are in um, quantum lightwork academy so we're going to have a lot around this so we're going to go so in depth but really beautiful question and it's really really important when you're doing light work to understand this, to fully understand how it's operating. Um, so we are all God. That is our core. That is our truth. That's the highest truth. So I always sort of use my hands to explain. So that is the highest truth possible. Okay. Now, before the physical world was created, there were individual soul stars that were created and they're still being created constantly okay and so while our highest truth is god we also have a higher self connected to this individual soul star and we have many other lives in many other dimensions and nows connected to this soul star so a lot of the work that we will do in quantum um Lightwork Academy is around healing, not just here in our physical now, but healing within our soul star and bringing that soul star back to its truth. So, um, so most people, most modalities, most books you will read about spirituality see us as an individual powerful soul but not understanding that there is a higher truth that we can ascend to that we are god right that oneness is what's real and so understanding that that 
soul star and our soul is simply a creation so i am when it's time to become physical i am projects through the soul star into the physical world but knowing that we can go above it to our god self that's where all of our power is and that's what this journey here on earth is ultimately about understanding is that that's how high we can go that is our true sovereignty and that's that sovereignty understanding our god self that's where all of our power unleashes it's really really exciting so there's going to be so much learning around all that but that's just a little a little teeny bit of it thank you carol i appreciate that you are beautiful too and john says i'm the john that did the light worker 101 is it okay to keep doing the course weeks activation activations along with others that i purchased absolutely john absolutely those activations are there for you they're not going anywhere do activations as you feel called yes yes and yes thank you Aaron. thank you okay thank you each and every one of you i appreciate you so much i thank you for spending this evening with me it's been absolutely beautiful I send you so much love, so much light, and just infinite, infinite blessings. And you know what else? We have got this. We've got the whole world. We've got it. We have got it. It's all going to work out. Everything is always working out. And if you just decide to see things from that perspective, that's exactly what you'll start experiencing. So much love to you. Goodbye.